Hello again and welcome to Curio Crafts. I'm going to do another acrylic pour on a clock face today. This time I thought I'd try out this brand of acrylic paint. It's by Colvin & Co and they're available quite cheaply from one of the bargain stores here in the UK. So they're easily accessible. They're about £1.25 per tube and there's 120 mil in the tubes. The first thing I noticed was the seal under the caps quite difficult to get off and when I did manage to get it off I got the paint on my hands and it's stained quite badly so it does look as though it's quite highly pigmented. The colours are vibrant, I've mixed the cerulean blue, the rose the purple is a mixture of the two and it's actually quite a nice purple. You can't really see it on camera, I don't think. And the titanium white. As normal, I'm going to do a dirty pour. The mixture's my normal mix. 50% acrylic paint, 50% clear PVA. And the colours have a couple of drops of silicone in but there's none in the white. I'm not using any black this time, but the clock face is already gessoed with black. I'm not quite sure how that's going to affect it, whether it'll affect it at all. It just remains to be seen. The consistency of the paints have been watered down a little bit further than I normally do, rather than runny honey. The consistency is more like melted ice cream, I think. Probably the best way to describe it. And I'm going to do a flip cup. The colours are certainly vibrant. And it's generated quite a lot of cells. Hopefully we can keep those when I tilt. I'm going to tilt it very gently to try and keep as many cells as possible this time. These colours are amazing, I just hope that they come out properly on camera for you. Cells are spectacularly large. Just hope I don't spoil it all now by jinxing things.
I'm actually not pouring over the edge of the clock face if I can help it. I'm so pleased with this one. The cells are absolutely amazing. As long as I've got enough paint to get to the edge. Don't know how much you can see because of the light. These colours are so vibrant. Just trying to take it easy and gently ease the paint to the edge. I'm just going to torch it again just to get rid of any little air bubbles and to pull out any further cells but very very pleased with this pour Well the colours have stayed really vibrant, they've not gone muddy at all, I've got some nice cells. Overall I'm very pleased with the results and that's from probably the cheapest acrylics that I've found so far. And again it's from the bargain chain known as <coughs> Bargains. So get yourself down there and give them a try. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos of this type, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.